morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone this is radio biafra usa too my name is marzi ike peters uh this morning i had allowed that uh broadcast by our leader to carry on because uh, when i came on air he was there so i didn't want to interrupt it because that's exactly the thing that i wanted to play today and this voice you just heard i just came across it and it coincided exactly with what our leader, the warning our leader is giving to our people in Anambra. This is exactly the voice, just the same thing that our leader is saying, warning us about things that are yet to come. Unfortunately, there's nothing they can do. They, they will try. They are, they've been trying. But uh, in the end, Chukukike is our guide. We will always prevail, no matter what they do. There is yet a lot of Biafra is here to stay. All right, I have somebody trying to call me. I don't know what he wants to talk about. That, li that line has been on since morning. Let me just oblige this person and pick up his call. Call her on straight line. Good morning. Tell us what do you want. What's your problem? I'm calling from Virginia, Richmond. Welcome to the program. <laughs> Then we're going to get me for any but our people are so ungrateful. There is no problem. The reward is here on earth. Biafra will come. Tell Mazen Nandekano that he has finished the work. Yes. As I'm talking to you now, Nigeria is dead and buried. It's just a matter of time. And this Biafra, don't be surprised, is not coming via referendum. Because it is coming as a tsunami. When it comes, the zoo cannot help it. Yes. And again, Mazi, check the history. We have a common enemy. We call Biafrans. And it pains me, even here in the United States, the way they talk, they hate us more than the Fulani. I'm talking about some of our brothers from the coast. If you check from 1967, they have been sabotaging us. The same people that have been sabotaging us, they are still killing us today. They are still sabotaging us. I don't know why, because I want you to reach Mazin Namdekano. Tell him that these people, even if we get this Biafra, they may be a problem to us. You know, I'm saying this today because I've had enough from them. Let's focus on the people we fight a war with, because this freedom is not free. We have, we have, we have lost a lot. We the Igbos and our brothers from the other part of the coast. I'm talking about the Gross Riverians and the Afaibomites. It is high time Mazi should stand up and let those people know what we have for them. Make an agreement. Let them know that this Biafra will favor them more than anything Nigeria can promise. Because we are on ground, have worked with them on the creeks, on the shores. I know who is who. So let's Mazi you not know, waste his time a lot because I see a vision. It's a dream where we succeeded, but not all Mazi wanted that he got. And I'm looking at it as some of these people we are suffering ourselves, trying to convince every day, still their minds are made up. Because I know I have a property in Portacot. That's what they are looking for. They say it that when it will happen, they will take our properties. And because of it, they will not support Biafra. But I know God is with us. Let me ask if it is agreement, let international agents come around, it's witness, they sign it. This will put there because they are yearning, they are telling us they, they don't know what we have for them. So if Mazin Namdekano can, start now to do, because Biafra is coming, so that it will not be when this Biafra come, they will say, ah, how are we joining? What are we joining for? What is our benefit? What are, what are you bringing on the table? You know, by then. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah. By then, by then, it may be too late. Yes. So let him start focusing on the people who are our brothers. We know who our brothers are. So, and leave people who are killing us. They are killing us in Port Harcourt. On daily basis, they are so they are pointing us even to the point. The one that happened the other day was your enemy. Now all those uh, wicked boys, when they see their enemies who are Igbos, they point them say they are they are IPOB and they will kill them. The same thing they are accusing Ojuku and the uh, Iron that uh, they arrested uh, Adakaburu. 
But to compare what Wiki has done to our people and what happened to Adekaburu, and I never hear Ujuku brag, say he arrested or they arrested. It was the Nigeria government. But Wiki is bragging everywhere he goes, he's talking about the people. I'm, I'm crying here. I'm not happy because those people are not our brothers. As far as I'm concerned, let's call a spade a spade. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you. Thank you. During the Biafra, the room IPO, the IPOB has done what Thank you, nobody sir. in the world has done. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, this is Radio Biafra. Have another one. Let me take this call. It's coming in on uh, WhatsApp. Call her on WhatsApp on private line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Yeah, yeah good afternoon from here. Mazi I. Peters. Welcome good to the program. There you Thank you. Yeah, was, I thank you for taking my call. I just want to uh, my voice to what is uh, trending, especially for the previous caller that I just called. I appreciate what uh, everyone is saying uh, to my best of understanding. But before I continue, let me greet their friends all over the world, friends of Biafra Freedom Lovers. I salute you. Our leader is Mazin Nandekano. I salute you. Shalom. I'm Rabbi Shah speaking from my location. Mazi, um, my brother that called, please, sometimes we, I don't want us to make this mistake. Follow them and they make the same mistake they are making. Yes, we know that Mwike and his men are pointing hands and killing uh, the Igbos or Biafrans in their own land, Ikwe race, who are members of IPOB and not even members of IPOB just because they are Igbos. And the Mwike is killing them because of his political ambition. The Fulanese gave him that, uh, with their British counterpart gave him that, uh, that uh, idea and advice just to keep the oil flowing. That is the idea. It's not about the truth. They know the truth. They know whom they are. Just to, to keep that oil flowing to their direction, they, they, they prefer killing, they prefer maiming, they prefer, uh, you know, ethnic cleansing in order to be getting it. So if there are those in, in, in that place who are still fighting them, fighting the same wicked people. They are from the same place. They are not in agreement with what they are doing. So are you going to abandon them? Are you going to leave them behind? Are you going to say that they are not part of what you are what you are looking for? Because uh, one or two, three people are talking. If by majority, if we stand, if all the Biafran stand together and we can, and his tiny place stand together, can they contend with with the Biafrans? I'm talking of even by voting by majority. Can't you reason? Can't we? Can't we for once reason? And they are telling uh, telling people that uh, this is what they want you to be saying what they think that you should be saying in order to be you know making their argument to be breath breathing you know on on a dead substance to for a dead substance to begin to breathe. That's what they're trying to do, and you will be very naive to be following to, uh, dancing towards their tone because they are killing. Is is okay? See, as not killing uh, Biafrans in Abia State. He did did. Uh, the Umahi of a Boni state is he not killing Igbos there? So this thing is not only Wike doing it. Wike is just that Wike. The, the thing with Wike is that he's very vocal. He's saying it because he that is how his mind works. But there are those who are telling you uh, we are part of this uh, movement. We respect you. IPOB is not a problem. But he will go behind and arm people and start, tell them and to go around and start killing their own people in a bony state. You don't know that that is what the Yumai has been doing. Wike is Wike because Fulani gives him intelligence, and you know intelligence of Fulani, Fulani or whatever they would they will they will run their ugly mouth and they will be running diarrhea in their mouth. So Wike will say, "I will I will blow your head and cut off your arms." That is Sharia now. Yeah, that is Sharia for him, and and uh, bury you and throw you and the vultures will eat your eat your carcasses just to scare you and frighten you. He will go out inviting native doctors and they're doing a lot of nasty things just to intimidate you. But but my brother, can I tell you something, please? I know Mazi, I I know I'm taking your time, but let me let me say this, my brother. Think outside the box. Use other nations that have fought for their freedom and see the level of killings that the oppressors did and eventually those people got their freedom look at use south africa as a case study look at what the white apartheid system did to the majority of the blacks there go to south africa you see a lot of graveyards for those that fought for freedom 
and those who even disappeared, their graves, their body were not recovered. But eventually, at the end, they still got their liberation. So my brother, don't think outside the bus. And so many people calling, we care is this, let us go with five states. Are you going to leave the person from uh, from Bayesta State, whose name is Yemeka, who is fighting for Biafra? Are you going to leave the person in Akwaibom, who is from the family of uh, our late general? Our late general, you know you know his name. You know? You, 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 abandon, you abandon those people because you feel that Igbos must go. They are not Igbos. Philip Ephion by name, by the way. Are you going to leave the family of Philip Ephion and the entire people there in that region that we are the major fighters during that Ojuku, Ojuku period, our late general, Dimo, Dimo Ojuku, his period? Are you going to leave them? Are you going to leave those people that came to protest for our, our leaders' release because they are from that area? They came first before the Igbos. My brother, let us think outside the box, not because of what we care is ranting. We just believe that we care is all almighty we care. I don't think so. Mazia I put us in there. Well. There well, thank you very much. All right. Uh, I think uh, our brother was what he was trying to say is uh that our leaders should educate them more. That's that's where he was going. I didn't see I didn't hear him say we should abandon them. However, uh, you see, this same issue came up yesterday on my, my conversation and uh, with some people. And then somebody on Facebook wrote something about it. And I'm saying, what is wrong with referendum? What is wrong with what they call plebiscite? It's a common thing. It, 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 I don't think it's proper to say they. Because the word they, an individual person. You know, the selfishness that is brewing in our area, it also includes our Igbo people. There are people that are the heart of Igbo land, who believe me sincerely, they don't even, not that they don't want Biafra, but they are thinking, what am I going to do? All this, uh, where will I start? The influence that I have, because you know, there are people who are parasites. There are many, many people who are parasites. They are built like that. In my friends, my families, I know people who are very, very dependent on the other person. They are so afraid of what will happen to them because either one of their friends is in power and he is not even he doesn't even have the access to his so-called friend uh, he ends up in the corridor of the of the house with the gate man but he would rather have him remain there than for him to even uh, think that if that man goes he doesn't he, what am i going to be doing all right let me see let me see if i can take this call because it's uh, it's rather interrupting my uh, my thoughts Caller, good morning. Call on WhatsApp on private line. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, I'm good afternoon. I'm I'm calling from my location. Welcome to uh, the program. Good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There was out of one now. I've been discussed for a while. I yeah. tried to get my health in a good condition. Really? I lost my voice, so I couldn't talk on the radio. Mazze, uh, very good afternoon once again to you and uh, to the listeners. I want to also uh, concur with uh, Baba Chais. And then our brother that spoke, yes, what you said is what he meant. But I think we need to educate ourselves also while our leader has done marvelous work educating our people regarding this particular issue about um, uh, demoralizing our people you know if our people can listen very very well or go back to all the programs of our leader we've moved this stage that they are bringing us back to you see this is what you call propaganda we can knows what he's doing it's to be honest with you apart from the genocide that happened in um, Obibo what devil might have killed is more than what we can have killed i mean i've been honest with you like let's 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 jack it what this foolish hopeless idiot vagabond bastard that they brought to our land in Nemo said have killed only in last two weeks it's more than what we has killed in the whole river states apart from the genocide that happened he lost his mind there was a day i was on the radio i tried to tell our people about who Mwike is Mwike and devil my you see these two people Mwike is a drunken master is 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 not acting with his senses if you listen to him before listen to him now listen to the genocide that he committed 
and he was there on the TV the other day. He said, all of us are going to die. Your life is separate. Wicked doesn't know what he's doing. He's under influence. If you bring closer to a drug user, you will understand that Wiki is totally mad. But you see Devil Mai. <laughs> that was the day I said, <laughs> once you remove Devil Mai, the genocide will be lesser than what is happening. Devil Mai and his brother. Do you see this man in Imo State? Best, that one is even... That one is... He, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what they did to him. It, we, even though he didn't win the election, he came to Imo State. But there's something wrong with him. There's something actually wrong with him when you look at him talking. It's like he has ego. It's like he knows what he's doing. Our people should come out from, from this. Our brothers, uh, we know our brothers. These people that our leader have called our brothers, go to Wikipedia. In fact, our, go to our, the programs of our leader. Listen to those brokers. You know who is your brother. These people know who their brother is. Is it because they have a way of coming to social media? or rent channel television and be talking nonsense like Wiki. Is there another governor in Nigeria that is talking on, on the channel more than Wiki? It's just this, these are propaganda. These are people selling their people. They, is he going to do what our mother, our father Sika did? What they are doing is something that they are doing in, in order to boost their ego. They are selling their people. But you know what? Biafra is here. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Yep. They can rant. They can do whatever they are doing. They are only going to kill. I was speaking to somebody yesterday, Mazi. I will use that as my conclusion. You don't see Mazi Namdekami. He's very far from you. And you are killing people in the name of IPOP. Who are you killing? If you are a, 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 in a Bony state, and you are from a Bony state, and you are killing people in a Bony state, do you think you are killing in Namdekami? You are killing your brothers. <laughs> Namdekami is not from a Bony state. He's a black man. If you're in a way that you're killing a way people, you're killing your people. You're not killing them, Nam the Kano. So when you're busy trying to say, I'm killing IPOP, you're killing your people. And the next world will never forgive you because it will be written on your on your history book that you were killing your people. You were not killing IPOP, you were not killing Nam the Kano. Nam the Kano is anchoring the freedom of the oppressed people. It's not only their friends. Ududua, Medobet, he's speaking for everyone. He's not even speaking for Nigerians alone. He's speaking for Africa. He's speaking for the world. He's telling us what white people have done to us. What is wrong with these people from understanding this? People should stop promoting this and coming to radio and be telling us about who our people are. These whole people are our people. People can continue talking. Maz, you know what you said last. A referendum will do the job. Yeah. People are talking about uh, their friends. We are not asking for war. We are asking for a referendum. If you think we are not making wave, give us a referendum. Let's not go to war. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Uh, like I said before, I uh, I was trying to think, you know, think out loud, and uh, my thought was uh, was pushed up about this issue. I discussed it yesterday, and we even saw it on Facebook. Somebody wrote something about it, and I'm asking that fellow, what is wrong with referendum? The person is from, I think it's from Oron. Somebody was writing something about uh, why are we forcing them to, to go with us? Say it's them. My question is, who, who is them? When he said them, say, why are they forcing me? At least I think in the end, when I asked him a few questions, he went, anyway, uh, others can vote, but me and my family, I said, now you're talking. You and your family want to remain in the zoo. There's no problem. There is absolutely no problem. We, we in, the, in the Bible, there's something they call the, the story of the prodigal son. <laughs> we, you are there. You Just talk for yourself. There is nothing wrong with referendum. Referendum or plebiscite, call it whatever. Part of Cameroon became Nigeria because of plebiscite. Part of Nigeria became Cameroon towards the south side. Bakasi and the rest of them. Through plebiscite, through referendum. Nobody is forcing anybody to be anything. Our leader, Mazen Namdekano, should be left alone to do what he's doing. He is not going to go back at it. Anybody who thinks that he's going to declare Biafra without our brothers, no, 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 no. Let them give us a referendum. They have no choice. Either we go with them, or you throw in a referendum and let them say they don't want to go. Now we have reason. 
first of all, we are talking about the Igbo speaking people. We are talking about the people that they give 20 pounds at the end of the war. We will come back. Asari Dokoba, when his head was a little bit correct, he made a statement one time. He said, in the river state, the people that you took their houses from, they all came back and bought back those houses. They own those houses now. And some of you are saying, oh, in their places, they, they don't uh, allow us, they don't give us room to trade. They are dominating everything. And he asked the question, what about in Zaria? What about in Sokoto? What about in other nations where these people are excelling? We are made like that. There is nothing you can do about it. We are not being, I'm not being arrogant, but what I'm trying to tell you is that that is the way we are made. We are survivors. There's no way. Even if you give us only one center, just, you know, go to Ariaria market and tell us that Ariaria is now Biafra. <laughs> give it, just, just step aside and watch two, three years. It is, it is not, there's nothing you, like our leader told us at the, at the beginning of this, I listened to what he said. He said, the Yorubas are very good in the media. But while we are busy buying and selling, they are running their, their own media. That is their work. That is what they know how to do. That is their way. Our own will buying and selling. You hardly see... We, we know... That's, that's the way we are created. And believe me sincerely, these guys that are so determined to make it, you can't live their life. You can't. That is their nature. They are all over the place, all over the world. What we are asking is a state of Biafra. Nobody is saying that when Biafra comes, you can leave your business in Sokoto to come and live in Biafra. No. If you want to, that's okay. If you don't want, stay there. They will give you their tax to pay. You pay their tax. Live like a foreigner. But we have our own state. We have our own home. What we call Biafra. That's exactly what happened to our, our cousins, the Jewish people. They have the state of Israel. They didn't all of them run from 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 uh, 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 New York, especially where they live, somewhere in Brooklyn. They have project. They have they have homes. They have property all over the place. They didn't leave them or didn't leave those properties to Israel. No, but they have their own home. They are Jewish people. That's exactly what we are doing. So let us not worry about what anybody says because within our own Igbo tribe, we have the same problem. There are people out there believing sincerely upon all these are doing, they will always put but. And eh, Namdekan is doing it well, but. Eh, Namdekan is doing but. But must be there. Because you know something? They, for them, they don't know what the future will bring. Probably they have a friend who is a cook in, uh, in Asso Rock. And they are hoping that through this cook, they can, their voice can be heard. So if this cook is, if Biafra comes and the cook loses his job, where am I going to stand? That is the problem we have. They are not so afraid of themselves. There is no reason why we should even worry about our brothers in the coastal region. When the time comes, they will make their decision. They will make their decision on where they want to go. And nobody has a right to stop them from making, taking that decision. They want to go to some, they want to become... Yesterday, I even said something funny, funny on Facebook. And somebody, somebody, somebody said, no, 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 that will not work. I said, if people in Kassina, Umu Nebuari, and they decide to vote to join Biafra. Well, of course, we'll ask Mazi to, to let them come in. The only thing that will circumcise all of them to make sure, nah, if, no matter your age, and yeah, people with that thing to circumcise you so you don't, you don't carry that thing into the holy land of Biafra. And just just to, to tell you how serious we are, we don't care. The voting, the referendum is what we have been speaking about and we said about it. Our leader started with it. He's still talking about it. He has not given up on it. If you don't want to take it, fine. If you want to say, oh, give them Biafra on the Igbo speaking, I don't know what that... There's no such thing as Southeast. It's Eastern region. Eastern region plus parts of the our our live land that they cut into join the Middle Belt and all the rest of them. And you go to Bigodo. We are all Biafrans. We are going to be Biafra whether they like it or not. That is the point we are trying to make. <laughs> Announcement, announcement, announcement. The IPOB women in USA, Biafrans, friends of Biafra, and lovers of freedom, 
are rolling out a national protest to Washington DC in United States of America on the 17th and 18th day of June 2021. To bring awareness of the USA government and lawmakers, the following atrocities being meted out to the Biafrans at home by Nigerian government. The raping and continuous killing of Biafrans by the Nigerian security forces, continuous abduction of Biafran youths for organ harvesting and sale to China and Europe. For more info, contact the following. Mrs. Bridget Okafor, for IPOB Women Leader USA, 215-715-7709. Father Augustine Ademegwa, 917-306-9786. Mrs. Christiana Chiazoduro, 443-983-7493. Mazi Maxwell Dede, 798 728-8326. Miss Beatrice OKZ 347-517-7934. Father Ben Wanonei 215-954-7181. Madam Adan Nayamu Devu 713-385-2243. Mazi Ben Wangpo, 513-616-1412. The need to stop the overall genocide in Nigeria and the urgent need to grant referendum to the agitating ethnic groups in Nigeria, even if the outcome is possible disintegration of Nigeria. While there was Mary Williams, 619-381-8579, Colonel Joe Obona, 443-413-5119 Mazi Jo Nduka 904-716-7106 Lady Azuka Charles Wonko 801-928-4629 Mazi Austin Wonko Gallant Tech 210-966-4393 Mazi Michael Mba Original Edo 832-687-5673 Ambassador Anthony Chima Gallant Brother 917-855-3503 All Hell Biafra Mazi Chikwado Ipama 510-807-5440 Mazi Michael Avarakwe aka New York AM 646-236-5246 Mazi Oliver Obi USA Eastern Regional Coordinator 410-522-8810 Mazi Ndidi Awonom USA Mountain Regional Coordinator 313-587 3044 Mazi Ndubweze Ejasi USA Central Regional Coordinator 214-664-8119 Mazi Babachidjoke Ndubisi USA Pacific Regional Coordinator 818-201-8884 Mazi I. Peters IPOB Gallant Media Representative Plus One 845-283-9665 Mazi Alozie IPOB Gallant Media Representative Plus One 484-767-0848 Mazi Simon Ewa IPOB Gallant Media Representative Plus one three five eight four five one eight eight four seven seven seven. All hell, Alright, the line is still open for you to make your calls at six four six nine two zero four five four one eight four five at three four four seven nine eight four plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. Now, uh, so what we are talking about is uh, our brothers in the coastal region. I am 
advising that we stop, you know, the spreading of this thing out because uh, it does not make any sense that we are all Biafrans. There'll be a referendum even within our own self. I keep saying that in our own people on the not the coastal, we in the central region we most of us or it's not all of us that want to support what we are doing so what this story is bringing is what we call distraction we are biafrans there is nobody no human being out there who likes what's going on in the, the zoo the way it is today but if you choose to remain there hey why who are we to drag you we're not dragging nobody but you're not going to speak to anybody you're going to speak for yourself it's one man one vote when it comes all right caller good morning caller on um Principal officer's line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. <coughs> Thank you very much and good afternoon for him as the I Peters. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Mazu. Mazu, my name is Desmond and I'm calling you from Italy. Uh, please, Mazu, before I comment on your um, analysis this afternoon from here, let me first of all bring this special announcement because we are getting close. You know, now, for Biafras in Italy to support ESN, these numbers are from IPOB national body in Italy, signed by the IPOB national coordinator in Italy. Please call any of the following number and support ESN because um, we all know that now the most important thing now is the security and the protection of our land and we have to equip, equip our boys to do that. So if you're a Biafran and you're in Italy, please call the following number. Plus 39... Three five one zero zero four six zero five five. I repeat, plus three nine three five one zero zero four six zero five five. This number is for the IPB National Coordinator in Italy. The other number is plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. I repeat, plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. This number is for IPUB National National PRO in Italy. Please call and support ESN for their fans in Italy. Now, uh, please let me also give this very very um, important um, announcement. Italy, because some um, people tend to misunderstand when we say mega rally is for their fans, not only IPUB family members. Please, so all their fans in Italy and Oduduans. We are calling on everybody to join us on our mega awareness rally campaign um, between the Oduduans and the Biafrans in Italy, which will be taking place on the 12th of June, which is on Saturday, about um, three days from today. And it's going to be at a place in Roma, at a place called Piazza di Porta San Giovanni. Piazza di Porta San Giovanni is just about 15 minutes away from the Roma Termini. Um, for those of us in Italy, we know Roma Termini. So when we get to the Termini, we can ask anybody um, who is conversant with that area and will be directed. Also, you can also take the metro, the metro, um, the metro train or is it metro bus or metro, I don't know, you take it, the metro bus A and the third bus stop is Piazza, the reporters and Giovanni. Now, for further clarification or directions, please, for our Odudua people, our Odudua brethren, please do call this number if you are coming for direction in case if you have any difficulty or when you get to Roma. Call this number, plus 39-35120-89717. I repeat, plus 39-35120-89717. 89717 and also for our Biafran people if you for direction when you get to Roma if you want further directions from Roma please call this number plus 39 35111 I repeat plus 39 35111 is a mega rally I will must all gather to bring our message to the world and to let the world know why we are leaving Nigeria and the atrocities that is being committed against our people in our land. Uh, thank you very much, Maze Aikutas, for this opportunity. Then a quick comment on your analysis this afternoon, Maze. What I want to say about this, our brothers in the coastal region, I just want 
people to understand something which is very, very important. You see, in 1914, when Lugard was amalgamating what he wanted to call Nigeria, there was two regional amalgamation, which was the Southern Protectorate and the Northern Protectorate. There was nothing like Rivers Protectorate. There was nothing like Abia Protectorate. There was nothing like Akwaibun Protectorate. These are just two people, you know. So now, because of the hatred they have for us to divide and conquer us, in fact, these two people are majorly, let me say, the houses and, and the certain people. Fulani don't even have any territory in that so-called Nigeria. People must understand this thing. But let me just go to the point. The territory, when people say territorial integrity, the territory that they are calling rivers today, so let me just play this thing for people to understand. The territory, that territory, that land, because when they say territory, it's just land. That territory, that land they are calling rivers today is a Biafra land. We cannot leave it to anybody. We cannot leave our land to anybody. Not Nigeria, not Sokoto Caliphate, not anybody. If there is anybody in our land, that is that territory they are calling rivers now, you go that they are calling, because you see some people that make this argument, Masi, if you ask them, have you been to Aba before? Have you been to Obibo? Have you been to Ugocha? They will tell you no. They don't even know the terrain. They don't even know the area. They don't even know how the area looks like. They will just come and they will just talk nonsense. That why don't you take five states and go? They don't talk nonsense. Because they don't understand the terrain. Because if you have been to Aba, and you see Aba, you see Obibo, you see Ugocha, nobody will tell you that these people are not the same people. Nobody will tell you that they are not the same people. But people don't even know the terrain. They are somewhere in Vutua. They are hearing in Abia. Because these people systematically and with intelligence divided all these things and put all these names there to convince people who have not been in that area. When you want to talk, go to that area before you talk. So somebody all the way from Sokoto will now come to a place in Igwacha to, to, to Obibu or we come to uh, Ikore land or we come to Obibu land and say, I, I, him and Ogoni person, they are brother. Why? Look at Ogoni, look at, it's just like, look at Ogoni, look at Aba. Look at Obibo, look at Aba. Look at Ikore land, look at Aba. And somebody from the way from Futajalon will be coming and be telling you it's his brother. Where is the, where is the connection? Where to where? You know, so, it is the territory that is important. Anybody who is on that territory of Ikore, Ikore sorry, that doesn't, that says it's in Nigeria, should please go to the north. The territory is for Biafra, it's our own. We are not going to leave it for anybody. So, we can, are you telling me? We can, in, in Wicked's family, there are people there who, who are prophesying Biafra. In Wicked's family, you must have people who, they might not be able to say it loud, because the man is a killer. But, they are in their mind, they are, so are we going to leave them? So, our people in, in Ogoni will not leave them. So, our mothers, that are tying to rappers, we will not leave them for who? For Sokoto, for one idiot that doesn't know what is um, what is it called now, that, that don't know, even know what is rapper, what is tradition, that can never ever happen. It can see Nigeria. Instead, we will secede any of our territory to Nigeria. Let us all die. I am Usha. We all die with Nigeria. Don't punish Fulani. Well, this division is too much. Our people must understand that that territory is a different territory, and we can never leave it. We are not leaving it to anybody. If we can, what? Let him go to North and stay. The territory is our territory. We are not secede. We are not leaving it to anybody. Quietly go to the north. We will not stop you. We will not stop you. But let our people in our territory, who knows the value of their territory, the value of their heritage, let them use it. Let them stay there and survive and pray to our ancestors and our God as it's supposed to be done. No. That is the point. So people should stop a talking. We are talking about territory. The territory equal over you. But yes, sir, they are all our territory. We are not going to leave it for anybody. 
Thank, thank you me. very much, Master Equitas, and you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, thank you so much. This is Radio Biafra USA too. I have a call on Straight Line. Let me take this one. Call on Straight Line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, Master Equitas, can you hear me, sir? Welcome to the program. If you are in river state for the water for river state, you are a biafra, step your hand, get this there, come on, set, because even if you don't even know what is happening, you say that we don't know that, tell our neighbors that that's our blood. Dara. Biafra is listen. Mark chapter 4, from verse 1 to end. When I see verse 3, verse 9, verse 11, verse 12, verse 17, verse 19, and verse 20, we don't even know what is the meaning of Turkey said. You see, at chapter 11, from verse 1 to end, when I see verse 7, verse 13, verse 26, and verse 17, and verse 18, we know. All right, I look like it looks like his phone just s slipped off. All right, uh, mm, maybe I can allow you to continue, come back and say what you want to say and finish it up. Unfortunately, your line just went off. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. We're still taking calls. I'll take a very short break and I'll be back with you. Stay tuned. Don't go I'm here again. I'm back on seat. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. The line is still open 646 920 4541. 845-344-7984 and plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three that's the principal officer's line and the ladies i still want to remind you that uh, coming up on Ju uh, june 17th and 18th we're going to washington dc for a mega rally and we are inviting not just biafrans alone but all the ambazonians uh, the duduas they should join us Caller on the straight line. The line is open for you. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Mas, uh, good afternoon. It's your brother. Good, so I'm coming from my location. Mas, yeah, well. Yes, uh, my big brother. Thank you for your good job. I appreciate our leader and uh, their first worldwide. Mas, you see, um, one thing I want to make our people understand here is this. Our leader has led, led the uh, uh, and then uh, he has told, uh, if you go back to um, Kadira Ahmed, when he came to our leader's house to interview our leader. So I don't, want, I don't know why our people are disturbing themselves. We came because of one or two people. And we start to uh, try to let our leader to come and uh, uh, repeat what he has said many years ago. Our people should go back to that interview, Kadira Ahmed that interviewed our leader then you can see he lays everything there. So I'm not worried about our people. Uh, we know what we are doing. Our leader has told us, I am behind them. Eh? So we, uh, um, people that is bothering themselves, I'm not bothering myself. Maso, the reason why I came here is this. You see, I want those people that, uh, those uh, Thomas, and those people that was asking our leader, what are you doing? Now, let me give you an instance. Maso, you know when our leader created uh, uh, ESN? All right, uh, what happened? Are you still there? All right, I don't know what happened to that line. It was still, looks like it was still talking and uh, the line went off. Uh, let's see. Uh, that could be the fault of the phone. Whatever it is, just call us back if you're still there, if you're still willing to continue because it looks like uh, your line dropped off and then you, you had to turn yourself off. 
This is Radio Biafra. I don't know what's wrong with the straight line. The same thing that happened when uh, the, somebody was calling from Sokrum, the brother of course from uh, Biafra land. He was with us and uh, <clears throat> all of a sudden the line went off and the same thing has just happened again. Whatever it is, this is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls at 646-920-4541. I have a call on the signal. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from if you're still there. Call on signal, are you there? All right, the line. The, let's go back to straight line and see what happened. Call on straight line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where yes, you're calling. Yes, Mas, it's me. Something is going on. We don't know about this line nowadays. Uh, okay, go ahead. You know, you're they back. don't want us to speak. That's their problem. So, Mas, uh, I'll make it quick now. You see, uh, our people should understand that um, the reason why we are pushing uh, terrorists in our land, in our forest. Mas Nambi can know exactly what he was saying. Do you know what the, uh, the reason why we are flushing them? They put them there to translate us, to make our mothers not to go to farm, to cultivate food, for what is about to come. Our people should understand it. They want to kill our people when you go to the farm. They will kill you. So that if you want to go to farm, now they are cultivating. You just to go there, to go to the farm. You know that the Fulani don't want to let the whole world understand what their farmland can produce. Do you know that uh, Fulani, Fulani idiots, they said that they bring food for us. Do you know they have come to say that they're not going to bring on us? There is a video going rampant in our land now, in social media. Do you know that onions grows in our land? Of course. You can see the people bringing, showing the whole world that uh, they, we don't need their onions. But they ask, do you know that onions grows in our land? Go and see that video that is going uh, viral in the social media. The, boy, the lady and the man there, they were there in, the, in, the, in that farm, showing the whole world the onions, and they will come and say they're bringing food for us. I want their friends to ask yourself, tell me what does not grow in our land. Just tell me to one thing that does, that that land doesn't produce. Tell me. These people will be saying that they feed us. And some of you gullible idiots, take it from them. Marcy, if not, do you know that they want to destroy us from not to go to farm, so that whenever agenda in 2021 when they bring it up and there will be some of food but luckily that is why the director say if you are an IPOB member start your shop in the show that that will make them we force them to do that thing they want to do in 2021 and they do it they start doing it now as i'm talking to you now there's a full army have bomb legos they have bomb police station they are when they invade police station too many people in lagos as i'm talking to you now now the whole world can see what our leader is uh, shouting for long. Mazi, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much, all right. They will, you know, one thing about food, food, abrifeje, we are not... Uh uh, <laughs> Israel, you know, when you when you when you read their story, look at it. The place they gave them, they live in the desert. You know that, right? That area is dry. But today, <laughs> Israel <laughs> exports tomato. <laughs> How many was it over there? Make it for Biafrans, we are going to survive. That food is not our thing. You know, the, what they did in the 60s and 70s, they think they can repeat them today. No. The Fulani is not even fighting any war anyway because I don't really see any war coming. I don't see all that. What they are doing, they are, they are pinching. They come in, they bring in these um, terrorist policemen and, uh, and soldiers to abduct and kill and then if they, they run out of money they, they kidnap you they go they collect money to you know to go back and feed themselves that is why we are telling you closely and very making it very very clear that all the policemen you see and the terror and the and the soldiers you see in Biafra land they are terrorists there are terrorists in uniform they are there not because they want to protect you they are there to kill you to make sure that they eliminate you that is the truth our leader had sounded that warning already and uh, we are reiterating on it and stressing on it and tell you that it is not over yet. You have to make sure that anytime you see a policeman out there in the south, in, the, in, the, in our territory, they are not soldiers, they are not policemen, they are terrorists that have been brought down. These are the Boko Haram that they, they, forgive, they forgive them and put them back in the army. They are bringing them down so that what they will say, oh, police is coming to protect you. No. That's why what happened in the West, they killed there 91, the first day, the second day, 50 people, and nobody, the police was there. They didn't never show up. 
they will not show up until the whole thing is over because that's why they are there. They are there to be part of the killing spray. Caller, good morning. Caller on straight line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, man. Good morning. Welcome to the Mas, program. I'm there, well. Uh, thank you, Mazi. Uh, my name is uh, Mazi, my man, Ugonu Jaka. I am calling from the United States of America, and I reside here in Washington, D.C., but I am from Amibo. Mazi, I thank you for the good job you do every day, and I thank God Almighty for Mazi and the Kano. Yes, Mazi, I mean, there is uh, nothing to talk about, nothing to talk about, because therefore is only what we need, and uh, therefore we will get because it is our right. We are asking for freedom. We are asking to, you know, be free. And that is what it is. There is no two ways about it. Nobody is going to stop you from asking that you want to be free. It has never been done. The only thing they are doing is they are checking how fast, how far, and how far we needed, or how much we needed this Biafra. If we are just, you know, being ambivalent, or we just stop, and then they say, okay, that's all right. But as we are consistently acting and agitating, Biafra is here already. For the people who do not know about what is going on in Imo State, I would like our people, our boys, that is the Biafra youth, to go to the YouTube and the type Abba Kairi. Abba Kairi. That is the man that uh, hope of them are personally invited to Imo State, to do the job he did in the middle belt. Man, as you go and talk about, just, it's not even, this one is not, I'm telling you a story, I don't want to, don't take my word for that. I want you to go to the YouTube and type Abba Kairi and what Abba Kairi did in the middle belt. This man is so crooked, this man plant evidence, this man we are just even convicting people that did not do any, commit any crime, Believe me, it is documented. It is uh, in the YouTube there, type Abakari, and then you will see what this man is doing in Limo State. How this man is going house to house, incriminating people, putting evidence that those people committed the crime they didn't commit, burning houses. Who is Abakari? Go and ask who is Abakari. That is the Inspector General of Police, I mean, the police guy that is there, that is invited by Hope Zodimo. That is it. Then, and the people who are talking about, uh, oh, we are cultivating uh, onion. Onion can grow anywhere. We have our land everywhere that you can grow onion. There has never been any time that uh, full and easy up. I mean, the uh, the northern people were the people feeding us. When they are talking about, uh, oh, don't bring uh, the, the onion. It is not the houses that are talking about, uh, talking like that. It is the full and full and only do cow. That is what they are. They cannot be speaking for all the indigenous people in the in the in, you know in the north. Because indigenous people in the north they are different. They are different from Hausa people. So the people who are doing the job they are doing or people who are farming in the north are not even the Fulanese because the Fulanese are into cow. So you don't even have to worry about it. The only thing is that most of the time they, they will present themselves, they say we the northern, we the northern speak for the Fulanese. Because we are going even with the indigenous people in the north, they are going to get free by the time we finish with Fulani. The issue is that Fulani do not know what the mess they have put themselves into. It is now that we're going to dissect them and tell them that Fulani is not an intricate part of you know the zoo. That's our, our contention. Fulani do not have any ancestral land in our land, in that in, you know, uh, uh, whatever you call it, Nigeria. Fulani do not have any ancestral land. What they are doing is they are just, they are just parasites. Man, you know what the parasites do now? Parasites have to live on something in order to survive. So what they have done is just to pet on the houses and at the back of the houses, they are making the houses and then they are just going with the name of the house of Fulanese. That is it. You should understand it. Well, the mistake they make made is by just, you know, singling out the IPOB. And IPOB is their nightmare. And IPOB is going to break Fulani to end. There will not be anything like Fulani in, 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 you know, in, in Nigeria again by the time we finish with them. Everybody, every indigenous person is going to turn against them. That is the promise that we are promising them. Since they started this war, we're going to finish it with them. That is the what it is. And for those people that are killing in the name of the Fulanese, 
the modern people that are killing in the name of the Fulanis, you are going to be accountable for any crime that you committed. Leave the Fulanis to fight their own war. Whatever war the Fulanis have started, let the Fulanis fight it. If you are in you know, people in the north, and then you are associating in one way or the other with the Fulani, and you are fighting the war of Fulani, then you're going to regret it. And for the military people that come to our land, that is the devil. You are coming in the name of Nigeria. And Nigeria is the Fulani, that is the people you see now, the people in power. They are the Fulanis, that, they are the, you know, henchmen. They are the, the Boko Haram. They are the bandits. The, you know, the, the terrorists that committed to bandits, naming themselves bandits. These are the people we are fighting for. You are not fighting for the common people who are looking for freedom. So you have to be, decide where you want to be. Do you want to be at the right side or do you want to be the negative side? That is the Fulanis that want to occupy your land. Remember, Fulanis are not part of Nigeria. Fulanis are from the Middle East. Fulanis are the hybrid of the Middle, Middle East and then the Blacks. And then where do you find them? You find them in the northern part of uh, you know, uh, uh, Africa. That is where you find the Fulanis. And then they are migrating and coming down to the West Africa. That's why you find them in Mauritania. That's why you find them in, in, in uh, Central African Republic. You find them in Libya. You find them up and there. That's why you find the Fulanis. They are not a part of us. So what I'm telling our people now is that we are fighting for our freedom and we are fighting for our existence. We are fighting for our lives. We are in our own domain. We are in our own land. And then this trouble will come to us. We're not going to run from it. That is what we're going to do. We're going to face it squarely and then we're going to defeat them. So I am calling upon all our brothers who are in diaspora. It is the time you rise up. Rise up and own this because you cannot be in your father's land. And uh, a foreigner come to your father's land and uproot you from the, the house that your father built. Destroy the farm that your father owned. Just rap your mother and rap your sister and then you are there. What will make you a human being? And this is what they are doing to us. Then if you are here talking about one Nigeria, and one Nigeria is raping your mother and killing your father, and then they are intentionally exterminating your youth, then and you still asking one Nigeria, then you mean that you are not a human being. So that time has gone. When they say, oh, this is politics. We are not into politics now. We are fighting for our lives. If you want to fight for the survival of Biafra, you have to be on the right side of Islam, the kind of, And that is what it is. So if you are willing to be, we are asking you to do the needful. And the needful you have to do is just to play your own part. If you don't want to come out and agitate for Biafra, then you can just agitate Biafra by dipping your hand in your own pockets. If you don't do that, you know that you are trifling. That is what you are doing. You are trifling and you cannot trifle with the life of your children and the life of your mother. So I am asking you and urging you, if you are in America, dip your hand in your pocket. Don't tell me that you do not know where to pay the money to. Because that means that you are a criminal and you are a thief. You are a very dishonest person. So I am asking you, it is very simple. It is not complicated. The easiest way to pay is go to our website. And that our website is spelled very easy. It's very easy. It is www.ipobinusa.org slash donate. www w.ipob in usa.org slash donate it is very simple it's not complicated go there we are not asking for million dollars we are asking for anything that you can afford just pay it in there so because we have the people that have decided that they are going to volunteer to serve our land and this is the eastern security network and these are the youth that have abandoned their job and abandoned the source of their livelihood just to come and protect your mother and your father while you are here making your money while you are here free while you are here doing whatever that you are doing there are people that are dying for you so for you just to be very compassionate enough dip your hand in your pocket and do the needful that's all we are asking Nobody is going to do it for you. We are concerned that we're going to walk the walk, but you have to do the do. That is the financial part of it. Master, thank you and God bless you. All right, thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls at six four six nine two zero four five four one. Still have to remind you that on June seventeenth and eighteenth, we're going to Washington D.C. for a mega rally. The rally is not just for IPOB and Biafrans alone. No, we're inviting the Ambazonians. We're asking you to join us. They'll do to us. They should join Washington, D.C. 
especially on the 18th 17th is a limited number of people that they really authorize us to have but the main mega rally is on the 18th that's a number of people it doesn't matter how many you are come there and join us later on the program i will there's an arrangement for those who want to live out of uh, out of new york to washington in a bus gonna be like a bus ride that will take us there wait for us and then bring us back to new york meanwhile let me take a call on principal officer's line caller good morning tell us your name and where you're calling from yeah good afternoon so are you live i'm live direct tell us your name oh. and where you're calling from welcome <laughs> to the program yeah yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. I, I thought maybe it's not live because I'm, I just I just uh, listening the old program that our leader made. That I thought maybe it's not live. Anyway, thank you for having me, Mazai Peters, and uh, thank you again for Studio to 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 educate us or to let us uh, have a uh, conversation on this program. God bless you, sir. Maz, you see, when our leader is saying something, people don't understand. Our leader says, "Are uh, we? If you if you are coming, whenever he's preaching." Come with your pen and your papers. You have to learn more. And our leader is teaching them what they don't know. Now, as do you know that today, this zoo, zoo animal now that have decided to change their name, we not any more nigger area. They want to change. I say U A R, meaning United African Republic. United African Republic, because our leader have teach them that the name that the Luga gave to them is all. So it's an evil name. It's a dirty name. You see, whenever you see some black man, and if a white man call a black man, you are a nigger. If that black man will, will almost kill that person. He will beat that person to do more. To tell you that that name is uncalled Now our leader have educated these zoo animals. Now today they know that that name is uncalled And they are not ready to bear the name again. Now they are deciding to take their name. They say it's UAR. UAR, United African Republic. Who are you uniting? Who are you want to unite Africa? By answering UAR. Now, you see, our leader, our leader, our leader, our leader is a gifted to us. And we will surely, surely, surely do everything in our own power to support him. Now, that's number one. I hear people talking about, uh, uh, is it Nelson Wike? Nelson Wike is just a new governor. It's not only River State. Nelson Wike will come and go. You know, two years. Two years he will leave the office. Do you, are you not telling me that when we can leave office, he will tell his uh, predecessor, I mean, somebody that's coming before him, uh, that we, we follow his full step. No! That person will do his own way. Let's make his ordinary governor. He have a tenor. You see what he's doing, what is what what that what the Fulani told him to do. That's exactly what he's doing. Because they're not telling him that if you don't do this, you will not be vice president. And if we lose vice president, you will not be senator. So all these things you have to do what we told you to do. So that if you don't be vice president, you will become a senator. And the same that's exactly what we is doing. He's showing the the the, the, the Fulani that he can do it. So that he will, he will, he will, he will political relevance will continue. That he will not lose the politi political value. That's what he's doing. So we is nobody. It's he, just a tenor. He still is about to finish. And when he's finished, he will not tell us that uh, River State is, is uh, Biafra or not Biafra. After all, um, Chibika Mitchell was, was, was the governor. He was a governor. So let's say we can wrap in what is happening. He still is about to finish. We will see how far he will go. If it is still remain what but I know that very in a, in a short time the two will be gone. Now that's uh, another thing before I throw mass. Do you know that when they tell this our I know that he do something that our leader said we should not uh, attack him so much that we will defend him. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to Edgy Kembaka. You see, Edgy came back and do something wrong, and our leader have corrected us, so we will support him. They tell Edgy came back not to preach in his uh, congregation for the adoration ministry. And Edgy came back and obeyed them. Because now, after 30 days, Edgy came back and come up to preach. Do you know that they sent DSS to Edgy came back to invite him to Abuja? They invited Edgy came back to Abuja and Edgy came back and said no. Now they want to force Edgy came back to adopt him to Abuja. That is what is going on. Now as you see the intimidation of this zoo is too much. It's getting too much. If you don't agree with them, they will surely subdue you. They will surely intimidate you so that you obey them. This is the reason why I'm making some of the, 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 the preachers. When they come out and see the truth, they will not say it because they are afraid. 
You see, a double year, a double year last year, 2019, he went to Asoro, when the Jubri was there. He went to see Jubri. When he came out, people asked him, what, who do you see there? He said, they, uh, they advised him not to say something I see there. They advised him not to say what he saw on, the, on the, this day. And he's a man of God. This is what we are saying. He didn't say, we are not, not castigating them because they are not, what they, are, they will be seeing the truth. When our leaders say, all of them will go to hell, they think, oh, why is this guy saying this? This is, this is the way it's supposed to be. How can you see the truth and you are covering it up because you are afraid? Meaning that you are not serving God. God is not afraid of no man. So if you serve God, you don't have to be afraid of nobody. Marzi, this is what I want to say, please. Thank you for having me. God bless you, sir. Thank All you, sir. All right. Thank you so much. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. <laughs> U U A R. They say it's United African Republic, but I call it Omoatro Omoatro Republic. They they are fooling themselves. Nobody can anyway. They they nobody can tell them. By the time I'm done with you, they think there will be nothing called Nigeria. That name will be wiped off the map. And they are helping the the job done. They are helping us to do the job. So if they think they are changing their name, who cares? You can change. All the windows and doors in a in a fall in a building that is collapsing, change the roof, change the furniture in the room, but it will see collapse. If you don't go to the if you don't go to the foundation and dig it out, it will fall on you. I'm telling you honestly. This is Radio Biafra USA. Thanks to Mazen Lamikana. What the ESN is go to our website www.ipob in USA forward slash donate. Go in there, put in your money because these are the kids that are waking up. They are come here to protect us, to so make sure that we go to sleep and wake up. I've always warned you <coughs> that they have driven away Fulanese from our land. We don't have them anymore. They are not in our bushes. All you are seeing walking about, they are there, but indirectly, the way they are now is that they gave them police uniform. They gave them. Um, uh, uh the army uniform they have army ids and they're walking around like they are they are military men they are terrorists from the sahel all right let me take one more call and then call it a day caller on straight line please make it very brief because our time is up tell us your name and where you're calling from okay please i know your time is up uh this is a uh, mazin always from the location i have called from there we it, it is this name Thank you, sir. This new name, U A U A R. Omoatro Republic. I want to understand. Is it like in those days? In those days, we used to O A U, Organization of African Unity, which comprises the whole of African countries. Now they came back and changed the name to A U, African Union, comprising the whole of African countries. Now, this UA, is it comprising African countries? Like, say, you are uniting uh, South Africa with Nigeria, or Ethiopia with Nigeria, or Cameroon. I, don't, what, I can really can't understand this people. What is the meaning of UAR? <laughs> this is what I want to ask. Please, maybe time is up, and next time you explain this thing to Omo me. Atoro, I, I told you, the real name is Omoatoro Republic. <laughs> I'm telling you, Homo Atro Republic. Yes, right. <laughs> okay. That's right. I now understand you. Yes. Homo Atro Republic. That's correct. Are you okay. That's that's what we I are mean. not inclusive. <laughs> we are all different. <laughs> Our own. We are just different from them. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank, you so much. Right, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for calling Radio <laughs> Biafra. We are here. There's nothing they can do. They keep on changing names. Nam de Guarona Aguadat na. I am a chuni here on a gun on a new one. I don't hear so on a lot of same way on a hana get You are now changing your name from Omatro Omatro Republic UAR. Wow. All right, this is Radio Biafra. With this, I will come to the end of today's program. I'll, I'll, I'll be with you again, God's willing, tomorrow. You might go and you can ask you because uh, when we wake up, when we go to bed and we wake up, all we do is give thanks for another day because. Uh, we might pass on as we sleep. It's uh, something that that ring that does not ring a bell. It comes in these days. Healthy people they go to bed. They don't wake up in the morning. Everybody is showing surprise. But that is to show you that we don't have any power over our life. Our life is is, is a gift that is given to us. And each day that we wake up, we appreciate it. We say thank you, Lord, for another day, which is something that is worth doing. So want to remind you that our rally comes in on the 17th 
of this month we're going to washington dc that's going to be a very mega rally it's not uh it's not just uh, uh that kind of uh the rally that we go there two or three people know this one we are calling the mega and that's exactly what it is we are not inviting just be friends alone we are inviting the people from our neighbors our brothers uh, from uh, bakasi i mean from uh, ambazonia we're inviting them to that rally wherever those of them in diaspora and we're also inviting Oduwas. Oduwas, Oduwas. they're so proud of you guys and uh, you are doing very very well and i'm happy I'm happy at least thank God for our leader Mazen Namdikanu because uh, now we are all one, especially the people in the south. If middle belt, I don't know what they are doing with themselves. Uh, anytime they feel that they, they even uh, even if they are here, uh, people from there, if they are here in the uh, diaspora, which is very rare to find anyway, they can also join us in the rally because Biafra is our religion and Radio Biafra. Is where we worship. Stay tuned. Mazia Lozier is coming on and uh, be with us.